Shalem, Yasharela. I come to you this day. I want to talk to you out of Isaiah chapter 60. It's Isaiah chapter 60. On yesterday, God had me to post on Facebook that He will allow a red sky to happen. I call in many different names that God's Son is known in. Yahawashai, Issa, Jesus, Jesus, Yeshua, Yehoshua, Quesicoto, Kuka Kane. I, were, I, I, I wrote different names of God. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahuwah, and we have the Tetragrammet that deals with Yod, uh, Yod, dealing with He, Ha, uh, Va, Wa, He, Ha, dealing with the different names of God because some people believe that these names are satanic. Some teach that you can't use the name of Jesus. Some teach that you can't use the name of Yahshua. Some are offended if you don't use the name of Yahawashai. But I established by the word of God that God hear it. He hears these names. When you say these names, God understands what you're talking about. There's Paleo Hebrew. There's modern Hebrew, which was allowed to be done by priest Ezra in the Apocryphal. The 14 books that were taken out of the original King James Version Bible. Ezra being Edras, done 210 books. And he was allowed by God to do a modernized Hebrew because it was being tampered with. Some of the Hebrew pictograph or uh, pictograph you could see in Egyptian hieroglyphs, their writings. The X being Tav went to being as a cross being a T which is simply wrong interpretation. X is always the covenant sign. Always. It, 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 it was and is always the covenant sign, the X for Tav. I called in the name of God's Son for the skies to turn red for a specific reason to show that God anointed is here. The one that people call Messiah ben David. There's Messiah ben Joseph and there's Messiah ben David. But Messiah ben Joseph is really Messiah ben Yahweh. Some say Yahuwah. Some say Yahweh, but he is God's son. Joseph was uh, told by the angel Gabriel that it is God's son. And his name should be called Jesus in Matthew, Matthew chapter 1. Jesus himself being God's son, lets it be known in Luke chapter 20 verse 41 through 44 that he is not the seed of David. I repeat that, that he's not the seed of David. That's Luke chapter 20, verse 41 and verse 44. Take out your Bible scholars, elders of the camps of Israel, Yasharela, 
the, you of the synagogues and look in the New Testament and see Yahweh Shai plainly lets it be known how say that that I am the son of David seeing that David called him Lord and he used Psalms 110 to prove that he's greater than King David and that he's a lord over King David. It gives the Yahweh said unto my Yahweh Shai, Sit thou on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Four capital letters for Lord, that being God, the Father, the Creator of all things. Capital letter L, lowercase O R D, is the Son, Yahawashai, Jesus, Jesus, Issa. He made it plain that He is the Son of God. Remember, in God's Son name, I call for the sky to turn red to prove who I am. That the world will know that God is not a liar. And that there are two messiahs. I'm going to Isaiah chapter 60. While I still have time left. And I will prove to you. That the deliverer. Is in Isaiah chapter 60. And he is raised and born. For the great exodus. Out of this country. Of North America. Isaiah chapter 60. Arise shine. For thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord. Is risen upon thee. I want to remind you. In the book of Judge, The book of Judges. The spirit of the Lord. Came on Othanel. The, in, the spirit of the Lord. Came on Gibeon. Also, in 1 Samuel chapter 10, the Spirit of the Lord came upon Saul in later verses 16, I believe it came up, it came upon David once the prophet Samuel anointed him with oil. The Spirit of God came upon the deliverers. Those that were ordained to help God people out of oppression. To fight against the enemies of God. In this time of day, the enemy of God, and has been, is the spirit of Lucifer, Satan. With the one third that is kicked out. Those that control the demons, the spirits of those of the flood that did bad who uh, didn't accept the gospel of Noah. In this verse it shows that the spirit of the Lord comes upon an individual. Arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold the darkness shall cover the earth. A time of Darkness, a time of spiritual darkness, errors and doctrines and teachings. In gross darkness, the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee. The Spirit of the Lord shall come upon you. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. If you go to my Facebook, L'Oreal Moulton, you'll see powerful works of God you'll see from even from 2014 in that year water spouts tornadic activity hurricanes to fulfill Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 19 and 20 to call perfect whirlwinds God has allowed it to be announced through me. 
God having to be a friend to Abraham. And he showed him the things to come. He showed him Sodom would be destroyed. Abraham had time to plead with God. If there be 55, if there be 45, if there be 35, if there be 10, Lord. He showed him things that would happen before they happened because he had to be a friend of God. God has given me this ability and be able to speak it, to know it. Rabbi Yitzhak Kaduri is 100% correct. I did announce myself. It's on my Facebook. Many miracles, advanced calling to show who I am. That the Spirit of God is upon me. 2014, when Eric Prime Minister Ariel Sharon died in January, that's when I began to announce who I am. God showed, and the Gentiles should see thy glory. In kings, the brightness of thy rising. You would notice the power of God upon me. Gentiles and kings of the earth. Lift up your eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. See, this is a promise that God gives me. The holy angels surround me. Elisha. Pray that Gehazi's eyes would be open. And he said, They that be with us are more than they that be with them. I know who I am. I know from also Guatemala Buddha's prophecy. Shambhala shall encircle the blessed one in the mountains of, of the West Lands. He let it be known that I would be in the West Lands, North America. There's a video out on YouTube, Prophecy of the Last Buddha. Take time to see it. Before this close, verse 8 and verse 9, because this person leads to Exodus. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as, a, and as the doves to their windows? Isaiah, seen in the spirit, the children of Israel coming back home in airplanes. Eliyah, but this Eliyah will come from North America, where many Israelites who fled into Africa came over here to be slaves, which is documented in the United States, know it. The book of Edras, 2nd Edras chapter 13 also proves that Israelites were already over here. Then it gives in verse 9, Surely the owls shall wait for me in the ships of Tarshish, first to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, into the Holy One of Israel, because he had glorified thee. See, power would be released. God said he had glorified thee. It's already prophesied. Gentiles, you should come to the light. You should come to this, this anointing. You should be drawn in. Kings, you shall come. But I say before this video is over, be not offended in my color. Be not racist. Be not offended. But remember the word of God. God use whoever he will. Yahweh Shai is shown to be of dark skin in Revelation chapter 1. Also, the prophecy of him being a Nazarite in Lamentations chapter 4. His visage is blacker than coal. Shalom, Yasharela, in the world. Understand that the sky shall turn red soon in this earth realm to show who I am. Be blessed.